I'm making this video so we can walk through the operation of this Canon FTB 35mm SLR camera. This one is equipped with the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 lens and notice that it is the uh, early chrome version, chrome nose version as they called it. I believe when these first came out about 1971 they made the front bezel of the lens a chrome finish and later on they switched it to black I think it created some kind of uh, optical problems or something and they decided it's better if it's black so the stylish chrome ones are out there but they're not as common as the black ones uh, this camera is in fairly good condition it's uh, it was introduced in 1971, I believe, so it, um, potentially pretty old. It looks like the hot shoe flash is a little bit crooked right here, I see. And uh, so that's probably held on from underneath. So to fix that, you'd probably have to take this top cover off, and I'm certainly not going to do that. It's got uh, a little bit of discoloration here, but generally in pretty good shape. A little debris probably could be cleaned up a bit around here. This is also the early version with the all-metal film advance uh, wind lever. So what I thought I'd do is I'd step down through the shutter speeds here so we can hear it work. This one also has the locking shutter button here so you can unlock that and then it will work. Here's that one one thousandth of a second. Let's switch to one five hundred, one two fiftieth, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth. One fourth. Now we're getting down into these slower ones where we'll hear the mechanism operating. And then one half second. One full second. I'm also going to switch this to F16 so we can watch in the lens and notice these blades closing down quickly during the shutter operation. But listen to it here on one full second sounded pretty good. I'm going to do that one more time, get a little more light here in the lens. So that sounded pretty good. And then the bulb setting. And this camera also features uh, this stop down lever right here. It also serves, if we pull it the other way, as the self timer lever. So if we set that at a higher shutter speed and start it up, we can see that it's working. Okay. If we take the lens off a moment, let's continue looking at the body here. We have the, uh, let's see, how does the mirror lockup work on this? There we go. So you can do mirror lockup where the mirror is up. That's useful for some special lenses that extend too far back into the camera, but also to avoid the extra shake of the mirror having to flip up before activating. But anyway, uh, this camera does have that. And let's look at the lens here for a moment. Um, nice smooth focus. Typical of the Canons that I've seen. Very nice. Um, it's like the lens may be a little bit dirty, but I don't see fungus or serious problems. The lens mounts on here. This is the earlier with the chrome ring breech lock, so we line up the red dots and then just rotate the ring and the uh, lens is mounted on firmly and that's nice. Comes with this uh, generic 
55 millimeter lens cap. There's no printing on it, but it's a protective cap for the lens. If we look around the back here, you can see a little bit dirty around the eyepiece here, the viewer. Um, we can open up the back. Here we can watch the film transport and the shutter operating. So that's pretty nice. This one features this QL, the quick load, which is nice for making for easy loading. We'll look at the film door. Pressure plate is sprung. Nice. Uh, little bit of light seal residue along the door edges, a little more right down here. So light seal material is breaking down a bit. Ideally that should be replaced. It's not real urgent, I would guess, but at some point you'll want to have that done. Back door closes properly. Nice metal film crank in good condition. Looking at the bottom, no uh, engraving done of any ID numbers or any such thing. Uh, the rewind knob is there. I verified that works. Doesn't have a lot of hunting and pecking around the hole. Just some general scuffing and scraping of the bottom plate here. Um, so, a fairly nice example of the Canon FTB, the early version. I did also put in a battery to test. I did not, I mean, it does not come with the camera, but I put one in and I verified that uh, using the check function for the battery, the needle moves to the check position and turning it on, I was able to point it at a subject and then take a modern DSLR also equipped with a 50 millimeter lens and the uh, ideal settings between the metering was within a stop or so. So it seems like the meter is working on this camera just fine. Um, that's the extent of my testing and uh, please look at the pictures as well. Thank you.